Hello, Freedom Pates. I'm Kirsten Ribery. And I'm John Chu. Since it's fall, the leaves are starting to fall down. Say, you look pretty down, John. Are you okay? Well, it's my birthday, but everyone seems to have forgotten about it. But we didn't. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, John! Oh, thank you. How old are you today? Oh, I'm 18. That's amazing. Yep, I finally get to vote. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. Yeah. Well, I stand corrected. This is the news for October 10th. As we get closer to the Freedom Liberty game, the Battle of Grades hallway decorating has begun. Be sure to meet with your class advisor or visit your grade student council meetings after school to get involved. To help your grade, make sure to help out. You will receive student council hours for participating, so make sure you get involved. Throughout the month of October, the sports teams will be continuing to wear pink to support Breast Cancer Awareness Month. On October 25th, the bonfire is back, where there will be food trucks, the Freedom Band, and the fall sports, and it will still take place even if it rains. Now let's move to Jackie and Aiden to learn more about the art electives available here at Freedom. I'm Aiden. And I'm Jackie. And today we went to Mr. Renock's painting and drawing class to see what they're working on. I'm here with... Maddie. And what project are you working on right now? Currently I'm doing a series of small portraits with different objects, animals, and people. Thank you. I'm here with... Brayden. And what are you working on currently? Right now I'm making an island on top of a piece of wood I painted blue. I'm building it up with clay and then I'm going to paint it. That sounds really cool. And what inspired you to do that? Uh, I like to create worlds and settings because it's relaxing and I can't really draw objects. I feel like creating a world where I can put all of my different artworks in, it just makes it a lot more consistent and connected. Thank you. I'm here with... Lala. And what project are you currently working on right now? So I'm currently working on this canvas and I did it a Venom theme because I just really like things that are fictional and not really part of reality. Okay. And why do you love art? It's just a way to express myself in any way that I want to. Thank you. I took this class last year. Do you think you might want to take it? Um, yeah, I think it'll be a good way to get my art credit. Back to you, Kirsten and John. Let's look at the club news for this week. Looking for a club to join? Buddies Helping Buddies is a club that pairs students with special needs and students from the general population. This helps students practice social skills and build friendships. If you're interested in joining, contact Mrs. Wien. Their first meeting is this Thursday after school in the cafeteria. ASL Club will meet every second and fourth Wednesday of the month in room 132. They will be meeting this Wednesday after school. No ASL experience is necessary. Are you interested in pursuing a career in marketing, finance, hospitality, and management? Then DECA is the place for you. They meet every other week in 814 after school. Engineering Girls Power Society will meet this Thursday, October 12th in room 160 directly after school. Please contact Dr. Garippa or Ms. Dugan if you are interested in becoming a member but cannot attend this week. Freedom's literary magazine, Pen and Ink, is accepting submissions for this year's publication. Scan the QR code to submit your original writing, artwork, and or photography, or email it to jobriansheets at basdschools.org. If you enjoy reading, then Freedom Readers Club is the club for you. London is with the leaders of the club right now to tell us more about it. Thank you, Kirsten and John. I'm here with some of the members of the Freedom Readers Club to find out more about what they do. I'm here with Dania, Veronica, and Ryan. What is the Freedom Readers Club about? So what the Freedom Readers is, is we are a book club. And it started around, I think, a little bit after fall last year. And this is our first year as a full, fully fledged club. We meet in room 603 every Wednesday from around 2.30 to 3.30. We have snacks, drinks, and we sit, sit together, read books either apart or together, and it's just a little fun get-together. What inspired you to make the Freedom Readers Club? 
Uh, so as we all know, the Freedom Library is no longer a thing and all those books were tossed out in mostly cardboard boxes and placed outside classrooms. So in order to combat that, um, we all decided to create the Freedom Readers Club so readers of the school can meet together and share our love for reading. How do people join your club? So we have meetings every Wednesday, like Ryan said, in room 603 in Mr. Dunstan's room. And all you have to do is just show up and, you know, share your interest of reading. How is Freedom Readers different from a traditional book club? So what makes it different from an actual, like, standard book club is that we actually separate between the three of us and we all choose a different title and we have three different groups and we read those titles within those groups but then we also provide snacks and drinks and just a comfortable reading environment so that whenever we do meet every Wednesday we are more comfortable and like willing to converse with each other and stuff like that. That was really interesting to learn about. Make sure to check out the Freedom Readers Club if you're interested in it. Back to you, Kirsten and John. Thank you, London. The Freedom Readers Club certainly sounds exciting. Now let's go to Brian and Jake for our Freedom's Paid Sports Update. Thanks, John and Kirsten, and welcome back to your Freedom Paid Sports Update. I'm Brian. And I'm Jake. On a rainy night at BASD Stadium where the homecoming court was honored, Freedom took down East Stroudsburg South 7-0 with the lone score coming on a pass from Chase Walker to Jaden Colon. Girls Volleyball's Dig Pink Night was a huge success not just in the fundraising but also on the court as Freedom beat Easton in four sets. At Steel Club Golf Course, Louis Pagano put together an incredible front nine, shooting just one over par. The strong start was enough to qualify him for a five-person playoff where he bogeyed back-to-back -back holes to put him in sixth and qualify for the state championships. Today is a busy day for Freedom Sports. Our cross-country team will head to Nazareth as they look for another dominant win. Our girls' volleyball team will travel to Becca in a big late-season matchup, and our boys' soccer team will head to Jay Bernie Crump to face Deer. To cap off the day, our field hockey team will host their senior night on the turf against Liberty. Come out and support the girls as they look to send off the seniors right with a win over our district rival. Tomorrow, each game will be played at Liberty with girls volleyball facing the Canes at 515 and our soccer teams both playing at BASD Stadium. The girls will start the action at 545 and the boys will play right after. On Thursday, only our field hockey team will play facing back on the turf in the regular season finale. On Friday, our football team faces Easton at BASD Stadium on senior night. The boys are still fighting for a playoff spot and this matchup is as big as it gets. This week we're serious, the theme is pink out. Show up to the tailgate on Granny at 5.30 and pack our house to witness the Patriots destroy the Rovers for another year. That's all for your Freedom Paid Sports Update. Back to you, John and Kirsten. Now we're going to Sammy to ask the student body some Freedom High School trivia. Hey everyone, I'm Sammy Mullen. I'm going to be interviewing people about our school. So what are the flavors of hot chocolate in the coffee shop? French vanilla, regular, and hazelnut. So what's the highest room number in Freedom High School? 813. Close, it's 814. Oh, darn. Who has the best record by far right now? Boys soccer. Whose name is on the gym floor? Jimmy Fallon. I'm surprised a lot of people knew anything about our school. Back to you, Kirsten and John. Thank you, Sammy, for helping out with our first Freedom High School trivia. We have one more special announcement for you from the yearbook. So let's see what they have to say. Who wouldn't buy this year's yearbook for $75 only? I mean, who wouldn't want to look like this? Make sure to get your yearbook before Thanksgiving. If you don't, it'll be $85. It'll be $10 to the grade like this kid. Buy your yearbook now or you're a nerd. Wow, you all better make sure to order your yearbooks as soon as possible. It's the last week of National Hispanic Heritage Month. We have two more Latino and Hispanic celebrities and their impact on their culture and the world to share with you all. Sarah Nicole Robles is a Spanish-American voice actress and actress, best known as being the voice of Luz Noceta in the hit Disney animated series, The Owl House. She has also appeared in a number of other movies and TV shows throughout her career as an actress, such as Grey's Anatomy, Moana, and Encanto. 
Jennifer Lopez is a Puerto Rican American singer from New York. She quickly became of the highest paid Latina actresses in the history of Hollywood. She also found some of her success in the music industry in a series of pop albums and brought light to the Latina culture and heritage in the media. You know, since it's Hispanic Heritage Month, there is a Spanish quote that I think works well given the times. Nada funcionará a menos que lo haga funcionar. Nothing will work unless you make it work. Be sure to stay tuned for future broadcasts in the coming weeks. Until then, let's make it work, Freedom!